Israeli experts who have gone over the footage and photos of the Fatah hypersonic missile unveiled by Iran raises more questions than answers regarding Iran's military capabilities, the Israeli Zaman newspaper reported. The questions are regarding the missile's ability to strike the Israeli occupation within 400 seconds and bypass the most sophisticated anti-missile systems. The new missile, Fatah, is a cause for concern. Iran is the state with the biggest ballistic missile arsenal in the Middle East, the Israeli news outlet said. Missile expert Tal Inbar, who was formerly the head of the Fisher Institute for Aeronautics and Space Research and is now a senior member of the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance, said, this missile certainly can challenge Israel's interception systems. This missile has an engine at the top of the missile itself, Inbar said adding that this is an original Iranian innovation that has not been seen so far in any other missile in the world, neither in Russia, nor in China, nor in North Korea, countries with which Iran has ties. Fatah was revealed Tuesday by the Commander-in-Chief of the Iranian Revolution Guard Corps, IRGC, Major General Hossein Salami. Israeli media touched on the matter, with Israeli Channel 12 military affairs commentator Nir Dvori saying, the problem is if this missile goes through the atmosphere layer. I will try to describe this to you. Have you tried in your life to throw a stone in water? This missile makes a similar leap in the atmosphere, and this leap is difficult to know, observe, and intercept, he said. Fatah, whose name was chosen by Iranian leader Suyut Ali Khomeini, has a 1,400 km range and is characterized by a very high speed and the ability to maneuver against air defenses. This comes a week after the IRGC announced that it will launch a new hypersonic missile after meeting all the necessary testing requirements. According to previous statements, the missile can fly at speeds ranging between 12 to 15 Mach and can target enemy air defense batteries. At the time, the IRGC described the production of the projectile as a huge leap in Iran's missile industry. Earlier on May 25, Iran unveiled its latest ballistic missile, named Khorramshar 4 Long Range Strategic Missile. The self-guided missile is one of the most sophisticated weapons developed by scientists at the Defense Ministry's Aerospace Organization, with a range of 2,000 km and a 1,500 kg high explosive payload. Khorram's Har-4 is fitted with a complex liquid fuel engine, which is integrated into the missile's fuel tank reducing its height to nearly 13 meters. Meanwhile, the United States imposed more sanctions on more than a dozen people and entities in Iran, China, and Hong Kong, accusing them of running a network to buy missiles and military programs for Tehran. In a statement from the U.S. Treasury Department, quoted by Reuters, the agency said the network has transacted and enabled the procurement of sensitive and critical parts and technology for key players in Iran's ballistic missile development, including the U.S. and Iranian defense departments. Armed Forces Logistics Agency, Modafil, which is subject to U.S. sanctions. The United States will continue to target illicit cross-border procurement networks that covertly support Iran's production of ballistic missiles and other military programs, Brian Nelson, Undersecretary of the Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, said in the statement. Among those affected by the sanctions is Iranian defense attaché in Beijing Daud Damghani, 
who has been accused by the Treasury Department of coordinating Chinese military purchases for Iranian end-users, including companies affiliated with the logistics agency, according to media reports. Washington targeted centrifuge sales to Parchin Chemical Industries PCI, dual-use metal sales to its broker, PV Sadra, and electronics purchases by Modifil in today's action, 6. The Chinese Communist Party and the Communist Party of Sadra have previously been subjected to previous sanctions. Also among the targets is China's Jirjian Qingji which the Treasury Department has accused of selling hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of centrifuges and other equipment and services to PCI with PV Sadra as an intermediary. Also affected by the sanctions are Hong Kong Chidu International Co., LTD, and the China-based Qingdao Zhong Rongtong Trade and Development Corporation, which the Treasury Department has accused of involvement in the sale of non-ferrous metals worth tens of millions of dollars.